Good morning, traders. Well, US equities managed to hold on to small gains despite a mid-session sell-off. Uh, it was a volatile session as traders continue to digest uh, the fallout from the FOMC decision and uh, Janet Yellen's comments yesterday. Uh, three of the four major indexes finished in the green. NASDAQ outperformed up over 1%. The Russell 2000 was the laggard. That was um, held down, dragged down by uh, a lot of the regional bank stocks who were in that index performing poorly last night. Um, choppy session in FX2, the US dollar finished slightly stronger against most of its peers. A bit of a roller coaster though, it was up and down all session. One exception was the Japanese yen, which uh, did outperform as yield differentials tightening, uh, gave it support. Now yield differentials have been the main driver of the, of the dollar yen pair since uh, the Fed tightening cycle. So those differentials coming closer is giving uh, support for the yen there. Gold again tested the major resistance at 2,000 US dollars an ounce before pulling back. Now this is the third time in 12 months that it's tested this level, so a pivotal one to watch for gold traders to see if it holds or if we can get a break and hold above that level. Uh, Central Bank news, Bank of England as expected hiked 25 basis points and signalled further tightening would be required, uh, which wasn't surprising after the, the red hot CPI figure they had on Wednesday. Um, the pound had a, a small rally on this, um, but quickly retraced. Now the Swiss National Bank also hiked as expected 50 basis points. Um, in their case, they reiterated this in their statement that further tightening could not be ruled out. That was seen a little bit as a little bit hawkish. Um, there was a decent move higher in the Swiss franc, but like the pound also retraced uh, not too long after. Um, a plethora of PMIs tonight out of Europe, UK and the US, so uh, more volatility ahead more than likely.